What's up fam, it's your big bro Joey. Welcome back to the channel. Much love and light to everybody out there. Hope you're having a blessed and wonderful day. Uh, thank y'all for joining me again for another reading, okay? Um, if you guys are watching this live, happy Monday. Hope you guys had a blessed uh, weekend and wish you guys a blessed week as well. I uh, really do appreciate you guys being here and showing your love and support. I do appreciate it, okay? Um, I gotta start it off with some energy here. By using the uh, order in the court deck, okay. And I got us an initial message today from the from this oracle deck right here, the sweet ass affirmations deck right here, okay. And what we got is it said that um, today I am one one percent better. Today, I will help another freedom soldier become 1% better, okay? So in the back, it says, you could have been an ant protecting your queen or a leaf on a bush in the jungle, but you aren't. You are you. You are supposed to be you. You are a super, you are super fly and sexy AF. Life is a discovery of yourself and then a journey to help others discover their magic as well. What can you do to, uh, today to get closer to the new you? How can this new you help those around you? Every day, ask yourself these questions. How can I become 1% better? How can I use my services to help another become 1% better? Okay, so uh, this is uh, indicative of the fact that we are, in we are improving we are making strides like slowly but surely we are moving forward in our lives in whatever areas that we needed to be moving forward in. OK, um, comment down below and let me know, like, how have you become one percent better today and how will how can you what's the what's the question again? I don't forgot the damn question. OK, how can you become one percent better and how can you use your services to help somebody else? become 1% better. This is the whole teacher student dynamic. This is letting us know too that every day we're learning lessons. You know what I'm saying? Every day we're we're changing, we're becoming a new individual. That's somebody that's, you know, elevating and moving forward. We know more than we we've known, we knew yesterday, if I can say it say it right. But this is asking you what can you what what did you learn that you could be teaching someone else or that you can put somebody else like putting somebody else on game, you know? How can you put somebody else on game? Like, what did you learn? You know what I'm saying? What can you share? And that's what we should be doing every day is like because with everything that we go through, y'all know how I always tell you guys about we go through trials and tribulations with every, with every trial and tribulation that we go through. We're not just going through it for nothing. We go through it so, yeah, that we can learn and we can um, evolve and expand and grow as individuals, but also so that we can help other people get through as well. OK, so never forget that, that we we everything that we're going through, you can help somebody else to get through as well. You know what I'm saying? So with this order in the court, the first card that came out in this was hidden in plain sight. There was something that was being hidden in plain sight, something that was being hidden from you. OK, and. Immediately when I said the word hidden, I went over to hidden enemies on um, a card that I have right there. Okay, this is we got age 10 through 20s. So this could either be somebody that is younger than you or it could be somebody that you've known for 10 years, 10 or 20 years. Okay, or a specific person. It could be a child, right? You, you and this person can have a child together. That's in between the ages of 10 and 20. Doesn't necessarily have to be, but, or this person could have a child in between that age. But either way, it's seeing that in dangerous company ops in the camp. So this was somebody that was around you, okay? Somebody that was smiling in your face, or somebody that is currently smiling in your face, okay? Y'all know how I feel. That's like, damn, yo, like, can we get a break? And, Sometimes we just got to, you know, keep it moving. You know what I'm saying? Like, especially if these messages keep coming out, you know, we got to just keep it moving and do what we got to do to clear, uh, to cleanse our energy. Because y'all know how this, how people are with the energies out here. You feel me? I mean, I just heard evil never sleeps. I just heard evil never sleeps, yo. It is what it is. 
you guys, I feel like this person is showing up as an op in your camp or around you in some way, form, or fashion. This person is around you, looking at you, spying on you, trying to trying to get the one up on you, trying to get the drop on you, because this person knows that you are destined for greatness. Y'all already know how we give it up over here. Y'all already know what the vibes be all the time. You know what I'm saying? People, it's like, it's always somebody. When you get rid of one person, there's always somebody that's getting ready to flip on you. You know what I'm saying? I hate to say that, but we have good and we have bad people in our lives, period. You know, are around us or who are interested in us in whatever reasons. But we, but I'm hearing that we always got to make sure that we stay cognizant and stay uh, vigilant about what's going on around us, okay? This person or you, either you or this person or these people, because this could be more than one person involved, has Libra in their chart, Gemini in their chart, okay? Or Sagittarius or and Sagittarius in their chart, okay? Either way, whatever they was planning, this was on the bottom of the deck, deal gone wrong. Whatever they was planning, it, it's not working out in their favor, right? But... I feel like the reason this message is coming out because we need to know who the person or we need to know what's going on so that we can X this person out of our lives and just block them on out. Some of you guys may have already done that, but let me pull some more uh, energies here and see what we got. What else do we need to know, please? They don't know who you are. We got, they don't know who you are. This person, I again, I feel like this is somebody who didn't realize that you guys had a certain amount of anointing on your life or uh, a specific calling on your life or you have a, a specific protection around your life. You feel me? They didn't know that. Yeah, I'm getting they didn't know that. And then there's a reason why caution is on here is because anybody in this person's position or coming at you like this or how this person was trying to come at you. They in for a rude awakening. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know y'all know the vibes. Y'all know the vibes. Anybody that comes up against us for no reason is in for a rude awakening. Just how it just just how the story goes. You feel me? Order in court. It's just how it goes. You feel me? Because you guys are chosen ones. You feel me? You see another another indicator of caution. You guys have heavy. When I tell you heavy protection that's around you right now. And that's what these people don't know. I feel like these people feel like there's, that it's impossible for somebody to be protected the way that you're protected. It's impossible for uh, somebody like you who is destined for greatness or for you to be destined for greatness anyways or for somebody like you to have this level of protection around you. But it's something that they can't stop. These are all people who are looking at your light shining, looking at you uh, elevating, looking at you evolving, looking at you getting better. You're becoming better, a better version of yourself every day as you live. And they're thinking, hey, maybe it, maybe I'm the chosen one who's going to be able to take this person down. Maybe I'm the chosen one who's going to be able to stop this person and y'all know for every enemy for every villain that shows up on the scene for every foe that makes themselves known they always get dealt with you cannot stop what was meant what was destined for greatness you guys have a mission you guys have a higher calling these people think that it's they think that it's easy to come up against you you feel me? It'd be taking like, like I'd be telling you, I'd be taking like 10, 20 of them to come up against one you. That's because for one, you're powerful. And two, you're protected. You, you got a mission. What we talked about when we first started, you guys are learning lessons. It's meant for you to go through things and learn lessons because it's meant for you to also teach people as well who are on your same path. This is Soul Tribe. Um... I just heard, uh, what is that thing? Soldiers mount up or whatever. Gladi what is it called? Regulators mount up or whatever the hell that thing says. But uh, you are meant to go through trials and tribulations or learning new information or learning new paradigms. You know, learning new perspectives on life that to help you guys move forward so that you can help those that came after you. Those who've uh, been enlightened or who came hip to their mission, you know what I'm saying? Those who need your help. You're learning what you need to learn so that you can help others elevate and move forward and push forward too. 
I just heard, I'd be damned if I let somebody like this come in and stop you, what you're doing. So you got protection around you 24-7. So nobody's meant to come in unless you allow them to. You know what I'm saying? That's a whole different story. But no one's meant to come in and stop you on this path that you're on. You have real power. You were chosen. Um, you're using <clears throat> somebody I don't want y'all to know. <clears throat> y'all see? Somebody don't, trying to block your blessings. Look where I was sitting right here. Trying to block your blessings. I just felt some throat, throat shock reaction. <laughs> they don't want you to know, but you always going to find out, especially with me. It ain't going to stop. You feel me? You are one of the chosen ones or you are an empath. You are a star seed, whatever label you want to slap on it. You guys have natural God-given gifts and abilities. You guys are the star. You feel me? You're a star. You have a lot of strength and power and you are leaders. You are meant to lead other people, right? I don't care if it was one or two people. You're meant to lead somebody. You're meant to, to teach somebody, especially what you've already gone through. How you've gotten through these trials and tribulations. You're meant to elevate, help people elevate, right? But these people on the side, there's somebody that's close to you smiling in your face. This person was smiling or is smiling in your face as we speak for some of y'all. Trying to block your blessings. They can't take you. They can't take your realness. They can't take your authenticity. For some of y'all, I heard they can't stand you. This may be somebody who has a level of disappointment, this uh, pain and or, or hurt in uh, relation to this connection. Okay, for some of y'all, this could be somebody who uh, who had you caught up in a third party or who betrayed you in some. Well, we know this person is betraying you, right? Whatever. Uh, <laughs> What the hell ever, yo? Tell me, like, tell me something new. Like, whatever, yo. What else we got right here? Whatever, yo. Like, cut the BS, y'all. Y'all, is you guys may relate to being a shaman. I know I relate to that, you feel me? Being a shaman, working with those energies, working with your natural, uh, natural God-given gifts and abilities, and working with nature as well. You know what I'm saying? Or this is somebody else who wants to be, wants to have those type of abilities. You have shamanistic abilities and you are a spiritualist as well, right? This may be another spiritualist or someone who claims to be a shaman, who claims to be a spiritualist, okay? Who doesn't like the fact that you guys are, are walking in your power, okay? Yeah. This person has definitely done some spell work against you because they are attacking your children and family too. This is somebody who doesn't, this person, it's like they feel like if they can't get you, they're going to get the ones that's closest to you. So these people may start attacking your children, start attacking your family, start attacking your pets, whatever the hell they can gain access to. If they can't get to you, they start working on people that's around you. So be very, very careful who you will bring into your house, your um your homes. Be careful of who you let around your family. Cause it's somebody that's close to you in some sort of way, right? Whether or not like let's say if you post online, this could just be somebody that's watching you. You know what I'm saying? They think they know you, but they don't know a you. You feel me? This could be a coworker, this could be your neighbor. Okay, this could be a family friend. Hell it could be even a family member. But this is somebody who's around you and it's like they're doing stuff, energy work, trying to get to you, but they can't get to you. So they're trying to now they're trying to on your fa uh, family members, your children, your pets. Right. You guys have business success that is coming for you. You feel me? You guys are elevating. This could be a coworker who's hating on you because you are you are thriving in the workplace. Or this could be somebody where if you started a side hustle or you started a new business opportunity, this could be somebody who doesn't like the fact that you are elevating, that you are being successful or that you are blessed in this area. Let me go on record and say that if we are here, we're being blessed with business. Nobody. You haters, whoever the hell you are, you can't stop our success. It's never going to happen. You feel me? It ain't never going to happen. You can't stop our success. 
And I put that on everything, order and report. You can't stop our success. We're still going to shine. We're still going to be successful. We're still going to be prosperous. We're still going to have whatever it was meant for us to have, period. You ain't taking that from us. You feel me? These people have been doing things behind the scenes and then trying to cover it up, keeping it a secret. Why is it always that we got people who try to come around us or try to, quote unquote, familiarize themselves with us? And then they try to do sneaky things against us behind the scenes, trying to block us in various different ways. And then they try to cover it up because they don't want us to know. Why do you, my whole thing is like, if you're scared, then why would, if you're scared of the person, if you're imitated, intimidated by the person, oh, they're trying to imitate you. Y'all saw, y'all saw that word slipped out? Imitate, they're trying to imitate you. You feel me? I'm getting, they can't beat you, so they try to join you. So these are fake and phony individuals who plan like they got your back, plan like they're your supporters, plan like they're showing you love, but they, they, but they're hating on you on the side. They want to be you. Y'all got somebody who close to y'all. They want to be y'all because you guys are prosperous, because you are successful. You feel me? They are throwing rocks and hiding their hands. So this is that person who will attack you without you knowing that it's them and then turn around and act like they got your back. Like, oh my God, they said what they did. What? Oh, I got that. Nah. 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 Ain't no more, ain't gonna be no more to this crime covering up. And these people also have outside, having outside help to help them hide the evidence. Spray said, this is coming right now. This is coming up in this reading. This is coming up in the reading right now because this is an emergency. It's something that you really need to know. You really need to know so you can nip this in the bud. And I'm hearing for some of y'all, it's going to be simple as you just cutting this person off and cutting their, their access, their, their energetic access to you off. Sometimes we don't realize how simple some things can be. Sometimes it can be difficult, you know, complicated. But for some of y'all, I feel like this is just simple as you cutting this person's access to you off. Sometimes we find ourselves attached to certain people and we act like we don't want to let them go. Even if we feel, if we, even if we get some weird kind of vibes, even if we get uh, uh, red flags, we might not want to let that person go. But it's like you got to let people when you. When you get them weird vibes from people, you got to let their ass go. You feel me? One thing about me is what I what I learned. I learned this the hard way. I learned this the hard way is when you get red flags, don't sit and ask like I told y'all. I told you somebody out there that's doing this. One of y'all out there is doing this. I don't know who you are, but one of y'all doing this. You go, you asking when when God Spirit sends you that 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 red flag and, and tips you off and lets you know, hey, it's something going. There's something strange that is going on. When God is doing that, you ask him, but why? But why? Why should I turn away from this person? Why should I cut them off? When, when God telling you, Spirit telling you to cut them off, cut their access to you off, go cold turkey, ghost them, block them, do what you got to do, get them out of your energy. You're asking, but why? But why? This is the time that you need to put that but why to the side and trust the downloads, trust the information that you're getting. It's not a time to ask, but why? When you get tipped off about a specific person, you need to trust it and be like, yo, okay, thank you for the advice. You feel me? Thank you. I'm listening. And I know that I'm receiving this advice so that I can avoid some sort of pitfall, some sort of trap that's being set for me, right? Some sort of ambush that is being set for me. I feel like this person is trying to set some sort of trap or ambush for you, trying to get you caught up in some sort of way. This person is a whole fraud. May involve identity theft. We know it's giving me copycat energy. They're trying to be you. They want to have what you have. It's giving me that 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 coveted coveting type of energy. They want to be who you are. They Some of these people want to move how you move. They want to talk how you talk. They want to dress how you dress. They want to have that sort of, you know, that je ne sais quoi that you have about yourself. That's natural. They want to have that. But it's fake and phony. I'm picking up a reader also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Order and report. Yeah. Facts is coming out. Facts is coming out. Yo, I'm picking up another reader. And it very well may be somebody that's watching me too because I pick up on your energy.
And I know you're fake. I know you're a fraud. I know you're a phony. And I know that all you've been doing, and I see you, all you've been doing is bouncing around watching all different types of readers and regurgitating. Regurgitating and, 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 and passing shit off like it's yours and it's not yours. But those who are truly top 10 can see you. They see what you're doing, right? Of course, you got a lot of people fooled. And you might continue having people fooled because there are some people that are still caught in the darkness, right? And that's one reason why they're unable to see you is because you're a fake, a fraud, and a phony. And if you was a real one, you'll be, you'll be teaching them to use their own brain, their own discernment, trusting their own intuition. That's how y'all know a lot of these people around here is fakes and phonies. Something's going up in smoke. Something about to go up in smoke. The facts is coming out. Something that was built on a false foundation to whoever this is, whoever was, is coming up against the collective, whatever was built is about to go up in flames. I just saw some smoke right here. And that's confirmation. Whatever was built, whatever was stole from you, whatever was copied from you, whatever was imitated, plagiarized. And this is on down to people still trying to steal your essence, trying to steal your flavor, your swag. You know what I'm saying? Trying to steal whoever who you are, you know? Whatever they built off of that is about to be reclaimed. And when I say reclaim, it's about to go up in smoke. It's about to be taken away from them because it didn't belong to them in the first place. So somebody stole something. Somebody got close to you. They may have gotten close to you in your face. They may have gotten close to you behind the scenes. When I say gotten close to you behind the scenes, that means they're watching you closely from afar. Watching you closely behind a computer screen. Watching you closely behind a, a phone. You feel me? And taking from you. Stealing your energy. Energy vampire vibes. Trying to... Taking your words. You feel me? We got a police officer on the scene. A police officer could be involved. This person may end up getting arrested for something. And I feel like this... Might not even necessarily have to even have to do with what they're doing to you that they get arrested for. It's just the energy. You feel me? They've been doing this to not only you, to other people. There was a reason why I said it's somebody that's hopping around to different people. They are stealing from different people, doing spell work on different people. It's like you, I, I, I'm, I'm getting this whole vibe of an individual who sees people that they, 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 they idolize these people, right? They're like, oh my God, you have this, this beautiful light about you, right? This beautiful essence about you, your soul, your energy, the way you vibrate, the way you talk, the way you walk, just the way you are naturally is so beautiful and so enticing and so appealing, you feel me, and so magnetic that it just naturally draws people to you. That's because you want to know why you, why, why you naturally draw people to you? It's because you're being, you're standing in your truth and your authenticity. That's why, you feel me? But we got people who have to pretend to have that, right? They're putting up a, a facade. They're playing a role. They're putting on a show. They're performing. You feel me? It's all an act. But because they're putting that energy out there and take it from other people. And on top of that, they got to try to take what's yours and then try to turn around and do and do uh, money spells on you. Try to do business Try to block your, your, your bag from coming through. Try to block you from having clients. Block you from being successful. Blocking you from finding love. You feel me? They're trying to do all that on top of that to secure their own position because this person operates on a lack mindset. Okay? But because they're putting out this negative energy out into the universe, y'all know what happens when we put when when we when we put whether we're putting good energy out or whether we're putting negative energy as energies out, you know, dark or light energies. What's gonna happen 
right? When we throw it out, what's going to happen? It's going to boomerang back to us. It's going to circle back to us. So it may not come back in that same exact form that we threw it out, but it's going to come back in whatever form is meant to come, come in, but that energy is still going to be there. So I feel this person, this person, okay, may have somebody either investigating them. You see the CCTV warning? Yeah. This person may have an officer investigating them from some uh, some uh, some crime that they've done, that they try to cover up. This could definitely involve identity theft. Ooh, y'all. It's like I smell the smoke now. Something is going up in flames. Identity theft. Credit card fraud. Money laundering checks. Some of these people have sent you links to your email addresses hacked your accounts, hacked your computers, hacked your phones, and got in your information and set up accounts and done something fraudulent by using your own information. But that part, yo, 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 order in the court, yo, 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 don't sleep, yo. Don't sleep on my skills, baby. Look, look at this. What was I just saying, baby? What was I just saying? Legal investigation. That's why this police officer is on the ass. Whoever, uh, highway patrol, shit, whatever. They've got it. They wanted attention. I'm hearing you wanted attention. Now you about to get it. You wanted to be famous. You wanted the clout. You wanted the accolades. You wanted to be, oh, mirror, mirror, on the wall type. Per you wanted to be all of that. You wanted to be number one. And you were willing to get there by any means necessary. By coming against people who've done nothing to you. By people who are just walking in their truth and their authenticity. And they doing what they're supposed to be doing here. I just heard they stepped on the wrong toes. I don't know who toes they stepped on. It might have stepped on your damn toes, you feel me? Because that's why this, this is coming up in this reading. They stepped on the wrong toes. Now we got a legal investigation going in place behind the scenes and they don't even know it. And all that shit that they were doing behind the scenes, copying people, uh, doing fraudulent things behind the scenes, trying to live up to this certain uh, persona and facade, trying to, trying to, trying to, uh, what is it called? Um, keep up with the Joneses. This person was doing illegal things to try to keep up with the Joneses. This person was frauding people, pretending to be a spiritualist. Pretending to be a shaman, pretending to help people out. But that shit is about to blow up in their face. They're getting investigated. This is local, federal authorities, detective, privatized attorney background checks. You feel me? This person came up in the system and they got found out. Somebody might have even called the cops on them and reported them. With this emergency, this 911 calls. Somebody might have found out. Hell, it could have been one of y'all. I don't know. Somebody could have found out. We got a Buddhist. Buddhist, I don't know who the hell is that. I don't care. But somebody could have found out what this person was doing. Look, we got right here, y'all. <laughs> and yo, you know what this person is going to try to do once they get them cuffs put on them? Or once they get outed? And, you, and, you, and, and let me tell y'all something. This could be in the... In the physical realms, or it could be also them being them being uh, investigated in the spiritual realms as well. Either way, this is going to have a negative uh, effect on this person's life. Okay, okay, that's what I got. For some of y'all, this person is pretending to be a Buddhist, or they pretend pretend to do. Um, I'm getting yoga, pretend to be a yogi, and all that. Somebody about to get exposed. And when they get exposed, they're going to try to blame you or impl 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 implicate other people and say, no, 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 it wasn't me. It was them. They did it. That person, that person. And it is not. The cops is not going to believe that. Whether it's the spiritual police, you feel me? The divine police, you feel me? Or whether it's the 3D police, they're not going to believe that. So you can point the finger all you want to. 
This show ass. You know, you, you, you wrote this check. Now you're going to have to cash it. You was out here perpetrating the fraud. And now you're going to have to answer to it. You feel me? But they want to throw salt on your name. Nah. Now you all that salt you was you were sprinkling on the situation, your dumb ass is gonna have to turn around and eat it. Period. Because you chose to make a deal with the devil, right? And what happened? That deal, that was a deal that, that went wrong, you feel me? Yeah. And now you're having to pay for it. You thought when you were signing up for whatever you were signing up for, when you when you when somebody taught you the game, somebody might have taught this person the game, somebody taught them to do something. Or they signed up with an agency. It could have been they signed up with an agency. I don't know. Only thing I know is this motherfucker is going down and something is going up in smoke. What was built on faulty foundation was taken from other people. Whether it was taking your ideas. Whether it was them trying to take your energy. Doing spell work on you. It's coming. It's, 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 it's about the... <clears throat> it's coming down. Making deals with the devil. Your soul on sale. Contract for money. Love, clout, fame, and initiation for fortune, right? It's they got a crappy deal, period. You feel me? It is what it is. And now they gotta pay for it. And the reason why they did that, the reason why this person did what they did, the reason they sold they sold, the reason they went against what was morally right and correct. It's because they wanted to be the best. All right. It was it was all about competition. People will dig their own graves off of competition. Being a crab in a barrel because they want it. They don't want to see people around them elevating. They don't want to see people around them being successful. And they definitely didn't want to see your ass be successful because they know you were destined for greatness. And that's why they was coming up against you. But Spirit said, you see what I'm talking about? Yeah. This was a straw that brought the camel back. This was, this was their tower moment. You brought ushered in this person's tower moment. All right? Because they didn't know who they was messing with. They should have been careful why they was messing with you. But no, it was all based off of ego. I got to keep going. You know what I'm saying? I, I can't let anybody else uh, beat me and win. Like... Y'all didn't even know that it was even a competition, right? Because you guys are vibing towards new money. You guys are, are being more successful. Like the jobs that you're doing, uh, your side hustles, your hobbies, your talents. You may be creating something, right? You're creating something or you're doing something that's, that's gaining you more money. And you got people that surround you that's close to you that see you getting more money, okay? And they don't like that. This may have been even people trying to fight, start fights with you, okay? Either verbal, physical, trying to instigate stuff, being a bully, trying to stress you out to knock you off of your game. Wow. I'm hearing this person have, this person was so confident. They were so confident that they would be able to weasel their way into your life and betray you or stab you in your back. But I'm feeling that what happened to this person is that somebody stabbed them in their back. And somebody that was close to them that knew what was going on was the one that ratted them out. There's another person that's involved in this. And I feel like that other person who knew about what they was doing behind the scenes, that's the person that called the cops and reported this. I don't know if they fell out or yeah, this is, but this is all a part of this person's karma. That's why this is happening to them. All right. It's just all a part of this person's karma. They paying for what they've done to you, period. It is what it is. This may have been a scorned lover or friend or whoever the hell, an associate or an acquaintance, somebody that thought they knew you, but they really didn't know you. Yeah. Because your dreams are coming true either way. Let me tell you something. I really don't understand the fact how, how some people can throw their life away, sell their soul, do all of this weird stuff, do spell work, uh, come up against people for no reason, put all this negative energy out into the, into the world just because they know deep down inside that somebody is destined for greatness and they're they, they, they coming upon uh, wish fulfillment. But my thing is this, they did all that 
to have this still take place. Now, who got the who who got the bad end of the deal? You feel me? Because you're still gonna be celebrated. You're still gonna have a dream that's about to come true, some sort of wish fulfillment and achievement, and you're still destined for greatness. Ain't nobody gonna be able to stop that. So they they sat they they did all this for no reason. They did all this for nothing. They forfeited their abundance, okay? For nothing. <sighs> this is ridiculous, y'all. It's straight up ridiculous. Give me the energy on this. What was going on behind the scenes that we didn't know nothing about? What else? With the what's popping? We are still destined for greatness. This person was backwards, you feel me? Backwards. They were, they were, this person was meant to learn from you. This person was guided towards you. Let me tell y'all something. This individual was guided towards you or you was brought in this person's life to teach them something, okay? You were there to teach them how you don't have to, you don't win playing dirty, how you can still win being doing being you know walking the right path you feel me staying in your own lane not wishing bad on other people and you were there to teach them about uh having an abundant uh, an, an abundant mindset to where they don't have to compete with other people but this person it just went over their head it just went over their head you feel me yeah it went over this person's head and all they did was yeah see behind your back they was doing, they were starting drama behind your back. Trying to pin people against you. They was doing evil eye behind your back through jealousy and envy. Trying to pin people against you, trying to turn people against you too. <clears throat> this, this may be somebody who was or is crying over you now. Okay, because they don't have that control over you. OK, they don't have no longer have access to you. Some of you guys may have already cut this person off. I'm hearing that their, their energy supply has is gone or is leaving. You were low key their muse. You were supposed to be a positive muse for this person to where they learn how to live a, a decent law abiding life. You feel me? And walk with the light. But they chose to spin it and let you be amused towards their own destruction because they were greedy. They had a like lack mindset. This person is is going to either now or later. They're going to see you out here living your best life, baby. You want to shop, you're going to shop. We're going to be able to have the resources to do it. Or you're just going to be having a lot of abundance energy around you. You feel me? They may see you looking good, elevating, buying you new clothes, you know what I'm saying? Working on yourself, you feel me? But it's that this person wasn't looking at. They weren't. I feel like this person got uh, different warnings as well. OK, the red flags. If some of you guys don't, uh, this hasn't taken place. You need to see the red flags also, too. All right. Also, a side note. Somebody needs to be careful about what they're spending, okay? Especially around the time when this person is doing um, money work on you, okay? But you guys are staying in your lane with this me time. You know what I'm saying? You you taking care of yourself, right? You 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 pay attention. I feel like you guys are taking care of yourself with this shopping spree energy. I also feel like you guys are taking care of yourself. You know, treating yourself. Spending some of your hard-earned money on yourself. And you are paying attention to these red flags, all right? And swerving it. you swerving this person, and you, now you by you back focus on yourself. This may have been somebody that you just cut off, or you bought to cut off. Because you tapped and tuned in, you know something is wrong with this person. Something is not right with this person. Yeah. Cut a person is busted. You see what I'm saying? 
when y'all find out what y'all need to find out about this person, whether it's, it's coming through this reading or whether it's coming through your dreams, wherever the hell it's coming from, once this person is busted, you out of there, you feel me? You out of there, right? And you and you leaving this person high and dry is going to leave them feeling lost. They're not going to know who to be, where to go, what to do, because they were taking energy and everything off of you. <clears throat> we got unbothered here. You unbothered by this person. I mean, once you find out who they are, once you found out who this person was, you was like, okay, cool. All right. You a snake. Okay, go ahead. You want to be nosy? Go ahead and be nosy. But I'm going to keep... You're going to still see good intentions from me. You're going to still see a good person from me, a good reputation from me. You feel me? I know I still had good intentions towards you, but I know you was you was on the wrong thing, right? You was plotting. You was trying to do stuff behind my back, so now you got to go. And I don't need to ask, but why? But why? We just taking the information... As it comes, you feel me? <clears throat> I just saw the What's the News deck. But let me pull something from this deck right here. So we got. What else do we need to know from this deck? Yeah, they try to bait and switch you. It was a plot to incriminate you or set you up, but it didn't work, you feel me? My thing is, they try to make it. Yeah, because this person was a what? Look, look, like, look, look, y'all. They was a secret competitor. They try to get you to let your guard down. They, this person, when they approach you, they didn't realize that you were a spiritual warrior. They thought you was a sucker, you feel me? They thought you was weak. But they didn't realize the minute they start shooting things, so they start coming in your face, smiling at you, you know what I'm saying? Doing spell work behind your back or doing evil eye behind your back. They didn't realize that you was, just, you was one of the real ones, you feel me? You was a spiritual warrior. They didn't realize that. You feel me? This whole thing right here was a, a was a lesson. A karmic lesson. All right? They failed miserably. It is what it is. And, and then look, we got right here. Blocks and return to sender. They didn't realize y'all have a firewall that's around y'all. A protection. A force field that's around you guys. And you will continue. You will continue being rewarded for doing the inner work. Okay? For working on yourself. You see how we have uh, me time right here? You're not worried about other people, what they're doing, uh, how they're making their money, if they're making more money than you. You're not worried about none of that. You're just living your best life. You're doing, you're doing the inner work. You are processing uh, past traumas and letting things go. And you're elevating. You're moving forward. That's all that really matters. You feel me? And your truth triggers insecurities in these people. You're like a mirror to these people. You show them what they need to work on. That's why you were supposed to be amused to this person, whoever the hell this was, or these people, if it was more than one. You were meant to be amused to them and show them the way. But instead, they saw you as competition instead of uh, somebody who could put them up on game. Look, and we got... You're going to keep winning regardless, baby. You feel me? So they can come against you all they want to. You're going to keep winning regardless, you feel me? Order in the court. You're going to keep winning regardless. It's not going to work, you feel me? This karmic cycle is ending. It's over with. Okay, so they can play their games with somebody else. They can play their games behind bars. Or they can play their games behind spiritual bars. I don't know. But they're going to be paying this karma. You see, see, see second, second time this came out. Paying what they owe. Karma. It's time to pay up, bro. Sis, it's time to pay up. Yeah, while you are discovering your, your, your gifts and abilities. Hmm. What is this person's karma going to be, though? Since we got all these karma cards, I want to find out what their karma is going to be. What they about to start paying. <clears throat>
Let's look into this karma. <clears throat> since they wanted to be so nosy, since they wanted to be you, since they wanted to take from you, since they wanted to devote their energy on tearing other people down, let's see what their karma is going to be. First card out is they may get a suspended license. Them driving may be very, very important for them. That could be a, when that uh, police officer pulls them over. You see what I'm talking about? Police officer. Suffering from spell work that's done on them. You feel me? And I feel like part of that spell work that's being done on them is one that they've done on themselves, a.k.a. they send it towards you and will return to sender. And now it's working on them. So it's ultimately they were the one they doing it on themselves. You feel me? Or they may also have people that's doing spell work on them as well. While they were seeing you as competition, that might have been somebody else. While they were so much focused on you, they might not have seen that person that was focusing, zeroing in, zeroing in on them, focusing on them doing spell work. Taking completely out of the game. You see what I'm talking about? It's like, yo, they wanted to come and play with you. Okay, they wanted to be like, okay, I'm the I'm the biggest, I'm the baddest. Da, 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 da. Let's compete. It's a competition. Da, da, da. They did all that stuff, and now they were the one that was taken out of the game that they created. You know, y'all, order the court. They were taken out of the game that they created. You feel me? This person may be uh subject to demon demonic possession and invasion and invasion. I'm getting if this if, if this if this is somebody that you know and it's somebody that is heavily like an alcoholic, uh, ooh, alcohol drinker, or they do drugs, yeah, it's, that's going to be very likely, highly likely, okay? Everybody's going to see this person for who they truly are, okay? So they can't, they're not going to be able to hide behind uh, the fake, fabricated, made up, stole, engineered persona, you know, their true character being seen by those they respectfully hit it from so there's some there's people who they, they want to see them in a specific way i feel like this person has had a certain uh what do you call it what do you call that thing has a certain um has a certain uh persona to keep up you know what i'm saying they got a certain image to keep to keep up yeah they got a certain image to keep up and that image is going to be shattered Getting scammed in a Ponzi or get rich quick scheme, okay? Something they may have, because this person it seems like they're very, very materialistic and it's all about the money, all about I'm um, being, how can I make this money? How can I get ahead above somebody else? They're not trying to get ahead just to get ahead to create a better life for themselves. They're doing it out of spite and competition to make, uh, to, to be able to, in their eyes, to try to look down on people who have less than them, you feel me? Getting everything they dished out in this. Um, see, this is everything this person is going to go through is what they've done to you. So whatever this person has done spell work wise, that's what they're going to be getting back. Cursed with debt on top of debt. So this person may end up having a lot of debt that they have, they have to deal with or come up with. Uh, with uh with money okay this person may be suffering from hair loss thinning balding or alopecia i feel like this is stress related for this person okay and it also may have to do with some sort of spell work okay or just some whatever this is it's going to be seen as this person by as a curse okay it's not not something that this person had is welcoming into their life okay and and if you is bald-headed or if you have thinning hair whatever if this ain't you then don't take it personal you feel me you know what I'm saying? So there's no reason. We're not talking about you unless you the op. Unless the only way you should feel some kind of way, unless you're this person, unless you were the one doing all this stuff. And then if you are, then that's your business. You feel me? Order in the court. What else we got here? Being involved in an unrequited love connection, okay? This may be with somebody who, I feel like this person may be somebody who they have up on some sort of pedestal, okay? Somebody who they feel would be perfect for their image. For some of you guys, if this was somebody that you were involved with, 
this person, whoever they left you for, whoever they, they put above you, that's the one that's going to turn around and do the same thing to them. You feel me? Being a victim of gang stalking and attacks. All right, that's enough of this. Now tell me about this greatness that we're destined for. definitely are destined for greatness period and it don't stop you feel me and ain't nobody gonna take it from us <clears throat> let's use this since I got this in my hand let's see oh and I'm gonna use I'm gonna pick I just saw this deck today I was holding it let's use the, the luck the box of luck This one too. Let's see what areas of our lives are changing. In your intuition. Intuition is one of them. This person may have tried to block your intuition. This person may have been jealous of your intuition. Jealous of your spiritual gifts, your psychic gifts as well, right? They were trying to, and I'm, I'm here for some of y'all, this person was trying to stop the flow. You see, you stop the flow of your intuition. They were trying to block your, your third eye chakra and trying to block your crown chakra as well so that you don't receive downloads. They wanted to take what you had and, and take it as theirs, okay? But if you received any blockages, okay, in those areas, that's going to be clear enough for you. And then you've got mystery right here. I feel like things, things that were once hidden from you are going to start being revealed to you through downloads. It's coming directly through your psychic abilities. The same abilities that these people pretend to have, it's gonna, you're going to be able to use those to, uh, to solve things or to get clarity on your situation in life. And also on people that you... That you uh, need to help some of you guys may start doing readings for people too or you may already be doing readings for people but your client tell me um increase you see we got creativity here your creative juices are flowing you may uh, find yourself being able to create more being able to manifest more uh just coming up with these awesome ideas okay, from out the blue all right I'm hearing somebody might have a money-making deal or a plan. Somebody may want to start a nonprofit. Okay, you may be getting information and downloads about starting your nonprofit. With with this space energy here, I felt like things is clear enough for you, right? You may have felt like I'm getting this claustrophobic type of energy, right? That everybody that you might have felt like, oh, my God, like this and people's energy is just too much right now. Or this person is being too intrusive right now, you know, and I feel like the reason why you felt like that is because this uh, this person was doing spell work on you. OK, but that is going to clear up. We got the a horseshoe. This is lucky in Europe and North America. This pro this is protection for your home. It wards off bad luck, okay? It's protection for your home and repels evil spirits and it ends the evil eye. Remember we talked about this person trying to put the evil eye on you? Or they were putting the evil eye, sending, or sending the evil eye energy your way. You have protection around you from the evil eye, you feel me? And you are being, you, you're having more access to your magical powers, your magical gifts and abilities, okay? And then we also have bamboo, lucky in Asia. Bamboo symbolizes harmony and balance at home. Okay, you see how we have uh, how the horseshoe protects your home. You're having harmony and balance at home. So your foundation is going to be strengthened. Okay. You're going to experience more security, more stability in your life. Especially in areas where you felt like you didn't have that. Okay. Or where it was... Uh, um, it was dissipating, you feel me? It's going to be building back up, okay? Love. You're going to experience more love in your life, whether that is uh, 
platonic love, love for yourself, love for other people, romantic love, you have the opportunity. You're going to have the opportunity to experience all of that if you want it, okay? You're going to experience a, a, a period of peace and healing, okay? There's going to be maybe a reunion with someone who has your best interest at heart, or it could just uh, signify that it could be a reunion between you and your soul tribe or someone who's of your soul tribe. Okay, who is meant to be in your life for a positive reason? Yeah, because I see, because some of these people who are part of your soul tribe, you're meant to, uh, to help them in some sort of way. You're meant to give them a message. You're meant to just, uh, to be a companion on this journey called life, or uh, it just depends on your your uh, situation, right? But we got reunion resolution. Yeah, somebody, okay, or something that you. Uh, was at odds with is going to come together. You know what I'm saying? It's going to hidden issues or whatever issues will be resolved with whoever you need to resolve them with. Okay. Oh uh, yeah, but this is good luck at is good luck at your home and family. Okay. <clears throat> Let us pull some positive energy. There's a lot of positive energy that's coming around you guys, okay? As a result of you standing up for yourself, as a, as a result of you not being a punk, you not being scared, you feel me? A block party. <laughs> a block party. Y'all know what time it is. Y'all know we do block parties over here on a regular basis. Over in the court. Y'all know we do. Give it up for the block parties, people. Come on now. Y'all know how we give it up. Block party. Angel number 6189. You are able to see the true intentions of anyone around you. Use this ability to permanently block anything that does not that goes against your highest good. You see, I'm talking about your intuition is going to be on point, baby. So make sure that you use that to your advantage, that intuition, because it's there for a reason. You feel me? Marriage. Angel number 222. Long-term connections may be made at this time. Someone may propose or promise to be in your life for a long while. This could be a long-term relationship, okay? A potential long-term relationship that's coming into your life, a potential uh, life partner, a potential person that you can end up marrying, a potential uh, lifelong friend or a long-term friend, okay? Or this can also be a potential, um, what is this? A potential, what do you call it? Um, Business opportunity coming into your life as well with this business success that we got too, okay? We have fast progress. These things are going to start popping off for you fast unless you block them. So make sure that you're being mindful, okay? Uh, angel number 7068. This marks the end of stagnation where you have been blocked. Things are moving forward rapidly. Strike while the iron is hot, okay? What else we got here? Expansion, angel number 1117. Expect growth and expansion in different areas of your life. You are being promoted and elevated to the position of a leader. You see what I'm talking about? That's why you guys, that's why you guys need to be cognizant. That's why you were asked this question right here. You were asked, how can I become 1% better? How can I use my services to help another become 1% better? Because you guys are headed, you guys are being elevated to the, the, the role of a leader. You feel me? You're also a student. You're a teacher. You're a leader. You feel me? You got bigger fish to fry than these weak ass hoes that's trying to block you. You know what I'm saying? That's why it's never, that's why it never works. It might aggravate us, you know what I'm saying? It might aggravate you, but it's not It's not going to stop you. You know what I'm saying? Order in the court, yo. It's not going to stop you. You're still going to keep moving forward regardless. You feel me? Y'all know the vibes. Let's pull... Let's pull a spirit... Spirit... Spirit team message. Let's pull a spirit team message. And then I'll pull your soul tribe. Control your emotions. Control your emotions, okay? I don't know who needs to hear that. Maybe you're about to go off on somebody, but control your emotions. Don't let nobody get you caught up. Don't let nobody set you up to uh, something on the floor. But never let, don't let nobody set you up to act out of character in a way that it could, could cause you some sort of trouble, okay, in your life. 
Don't sit around and wait for anyone. Don't sit around. I'm hearing that song. Don't turn around. It's gonna see my heart breaking. Don't turn around. I don't want you seeing me cry. Just walk away. I'm letting you go. Yeah, it's like Prince telling y'all, don't turn around, keep going. Even though, even though something might hurt you, keep it moving, you feel me? Keep moving forward. Reject anything that doesn't serve your highest good. Either they are with you or they're against you. That's how I work, yo. That's that's my whole thing. Like either either you with me or you against me. Ain't, ain't no in between. Ain't no sitting on the fence, you feel me? Ain't no going back and it ain't no going back and forth. Like you can't be cool with me one day and then uh we're not cool the next day and then we turn back and be cool. That shit ain't gonna happen. That ain't gonna work. Order in the court. Shoot, because the minute we not cool, then that's that's what it's gonna be, you feel me? Allow the universe to do its part. Yeah, the universe is like we bring in, we bring in you, we bring in you, we bring in you something. We're we're guiding you towards success. We're guiding you towards new opportunities for yourself, right? Except when things have ended. Yeah, let people let people and situations uh, leave your existence or leave your energy so that you can move on to something better. Sometimes we we be holding on to people, places, and things, and we don't realize that the thing that we really truly want. You know, energetically is waiting right around the corner, you know. But all we gotta do is like let go. You know what I'm saying? Turn turn around and walk away. You know. Go with the most stable option. You guys are going to have more options coming into your life, okay? You're gonna have more options and you're gonna have to make some decisions. I know that you guys have are very awesome decision makers and you will make the best decision for yourself based off of your own personal uh, version of your highest good, okay? Don't let anyone toy with your heart. There's love coming, okay? There's love coming to somebody here, okay? Don't let anybody play with you. I don't care who it is, all right? Live with no regrets. Go after what you want. Do what the hell you want to do. As long as you're not hurting yourself or anybody else. Enjoy your life. Lessons will repeat until you learn them. Okay? So, always know that if you don't learn the lesson, you might end up repeating it. So, you might as well pass it the first time around. Okay? Or the second time. Whatever. Right? When it comes to the third and fourth time, mm, order in the court. That's what, I, that's what I claim. But, yo, that's what I got for this reading for you guys. If you like it, like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more. And if this resonated with you, please comment in the comment section down below. Let me know how you feel about it. Much love and light to everybody out there. Y'all take care. Obrigado. Ciao.